When we last spoke, you called me a coward. Now I do not see the Lord's way as a violent one. But I did pray for you. I prayed that you would survive the war and the stand for righteousness. I write you now for your help. I see how action must sometimes be taken to right terrible wrongs. There are bad men here, terrorizing this good community. I have taken a stand and have paid a price for it. Reverend McCoy? Miss Jenny, may I help you? I need to talk. Well, it is rather late. I fear it may not be very proper. I want to quit this life. I'm ashamed of who I am. Of what I've become. Miss Jenny, God forgives us our sins when we recognize them. Well, that sounds good and all, but how? How am I going to get away from Rep? He says he owns me. He'll never let me go. Miss Jenny, you give yourself over to the Lord and he will take care of you. And I will stand with you. I want to believe you, Thomas. You just have faith. Miss, Miss Jenny, please, please stop. Okay. Now we can talk more in the morning. But you get yourself on home safe now. Well, ain't this a sight? Brave, it's nothing. We was just, we was just talking is all. Miss Jenny came for spiritual guidance. And that's what you call it? Nothing happened, Rev. This here is a house of God. And I would kindly ask you to leave. Ah, Rev, stop it! Get on home, Jenny. Baby, please, you don't... Get! You done messed up, preacher. Nothing happened, Rev. That was from me. And that was from the mayor. The mayor? I believe you were told to keep your goddamn nose out of his business. You should play long. But no, you gotta be all high and mighty. Yeah, you know, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, but I not with me. Thy rod and thy staff shall comfort me. See you on the other side, Reverend.
Wrap him up. Help me! What is this man's crime? Well, can't you see for yourself? Crime of niggardom. Ain't you heard? War's over. You lost. The war's over when I say it's over. My counsel to you is that you get back up on that horse of yours before I strap you to this here pole. Untie the nigger. What's your name, son? Abraham, sir. You going home, Abraham. Thank you, son. My name is James McCord. My friends call me Marshall. We gonna have a problem? No, Marshall. No problem. Thank you. I want it. Excuse me. I said that I want it. I'm sure you can get one for yourself. <laughs> I want that one. Not gonna happen. Unless you want to die for this ad, I suggest you pick up your friend and maybe get him a drink. Anyone here tell me where the church is? No one. No one knows where the church is. Head back down the road to the edge of town. You won't find much, but you can't miss it. If any of y'all see the Reverend McCord, you tell him his brother's looking for him. Tragic thing. Man of the cloth burning to death like that. You had plenty of chances. Well, well, accidents happen. You know, when I first come out here, it was open space, far as you could see. Wild country for the taken. Some folks call it God's country. Well, well, I say. Not even God's gonna stop me from taking my share. What about blood? What's that supposed to mean? Preacher's brother rode into town. Really? Well, I've seen this type before. A dog looking for a bone. And he's a marshal. He's a U.S. marshal. You saying that he might not buy the fact that his brother's death was accidental? It could be that accidents run in the family. Yeah, I reckon they may. Why don't you get yourself a coat? You know they're more reliable. 
My daddy gave me this gun. It suits me fine. Why don't you worry about that U.S. Marshal? Because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Whoa. How can I help you, sir? This is my brother's church. I'm looking for him. That'll be all for today, children. Thank you, ladies. I'm Melissa. James McCord. Let me take you to him. I'm so sorry, little brother. I should have come sooner. You didn't know? Did I ask you where my dead brother was buried? I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Dear James, when we last spoke, you called me a coward. I do not see the Lord's way as a violent one. But I did pray for you. I prayed that you would survive the war and the stand for righteousness. I write you now for your help. I see how action must sometimes be taken to right terrible wrongs. There are bad men here, terrorizing this good community. I have taken a stand and have paid a price for it. I fear for my life. I beseech you, come quickly. Help drive this evil away, your brother Thomas. Are you a sheriff? U.S. Marshal. Do you know how my brother died? They found his body in the church after it burned. There are bad men in this town, and he did stand up against them. Does the word not say that the righteous and the meek shall inherit the earth? But tell me this, when is it time to just pray? Yes, the good book tells us, and I quote, must not we look the other way. But it also tells us that there is a time, a time for everything. I am but one man, but I will not look away. I see who the thieves are, and I call them out there. There, my brothers and my sisters, there are the servants of darkness. You stand with me, my brothers and my sisters. We can rid this town of their evil. I will find out what happened to my brother. If there was foul play, someone would pay for it. Do you have a place to stay? Thought I'd camp out. We have a small bunkhouse out by our stables. It's not much to pride yourself on, but you're welcome to stay there. I don't want to impose, ma'am. No imposition, I assure you. Thank you very kindly. It's settled then.
Clumsy oaf, have a care there, will you? God damn. Gus, open that up. Uh -huh. Where are the guns? They're in the next shipment. All right. Close it up. You get some canvas over there. I don't want them getting wet. Damn. Hey. Tom was always best with wits. He, uh, he thought things through. I'm more of a take action kind of man. Well, we all appreciated how he could clarify the good Lord's word for us simple folk. Well, I wouldn't call you simple, ma'am. Thank you. Kind, sir. Melissa used to teach Bible lessons to the children before Thomas arrived. She recites chapter and verse in her sleep. Stop it, Papa. You're embarrassing me. Yeah, I saw it firsthand when I met her. Sometimes all people have is their faith. And Thomas was always praying. Praying for something. I never understood it. You know, if, you, if you want something, just go get it. Why pray about it? How do you think Thomas died? We found his remains in the embers at the church after the fire. I understand they found his burned body, but why didn't he try to escape? They say he got drunk and knocked over a lamp or something. Can you believe that? No. Thomas wasn't a drinker. In fact, he always said goodnight when the drinking got heavy. You mentioned that you thought Mayor Pierce might be behind some of the trouble in town. Do you think he could have had something to do with my brother's death? Yes, I do. Tell me. Men say, before the war, Pierce made his money as a slave trader. When the war started, many headed east, but he stayed behind. Bought himself a position of power in town. He hired Reb and his band of ex-Confederate soldiers, his enforcers, and bullied his way into the mayor's office. How would he be able to get away with something like that? Who could stop him? This is a small town, Marshal. Anyone with any influence he hired. When the war ended, people came back and the town grew. Reb brought some of his mercenaries to town and that's when things got real bad. Anyone who stood up to Reb or the mayor disappeared. Your brother wasn't the first. Well, I don't buy for a minute that he got drunk and tipped over a lamp. Now, something happened to him. I'm not leaving until I figure out what. This was your brother's. After the fire, I found it in the embers. I remember this day. We hated standing still for so long. Our mother. Long time ago. Her wedding ring. She didn't want to be buried with it. She wanted one of us to have it for when the time comes. It's beautiful. Journal. 
brother, you know he kept this? No, I didn't. Well, it's getting late. I think I'll be calling in the evening. Good night, Daddy. Good night. Good night, James. Is she okay? It's been tough. Her husband was killed in Antietam. Shortly after she lost her son, my grandson to diphtheria. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, she's getting on though. A little better every day. Let's see what you have to tell me, little brother. The West, a land full of promise for many. For me, it is the land of destiny. Though I left a good life full of potential, God's calling was stronger. I am convinced that the mayor is behind all of this. Our community has been without any form of law for more than a few years. Melissa Collins came by just after the Reb incident. Such a lovely girl. I followed the mayor to an abandoned mine filled with weapons. I drew a map to the location. Ain't gonna want to hear that you ain't got the money today, boy. Like I said, sir, things have been slow lately. Mm -hmm. A couple of army officers asked if I could tend to their horses next week. Mm -hmm. And maybe fix a few things. Next week. Yeah. Now. That ain't gonna solve the problem that we have here today, now is it? Uh, gun down, tell me what's going on. Business. It ain't none of yours. Making it mine. We know who you are. You better learn yourself who we are. You gonna pay these men when you can? <laughs> yes, sir. Well, there you have it. That's all you'll get today. Get out of here. Thank you. How can I repay you? If you can take a look at my horse, we've been on the trail a long time. I need some tending to. You saved my son, Abraham. Anything you need, it's on me. The man should be paid for his work. Thank you. You know your taxes have to be paid or there will be consequences. How am I supposed to feed my family? That's enough, boys. Let's not do this again. Let's put it down gently and back away. This ain't over. You can't just be coming in someone else's town, acting like you own the place. Well, that's ironic, isn't it? So why don't you and your partner clear on out of here? You're a blessing from heaven. Don't be so sure about that. Hey, cowboy. Want to have a good time? No, thank you, ma'am. Whiskey. Two more. Thank you. What if I join you? Thanks. 
want to introduce myself. No need, Marshal. <sighs> yeah, I guess I'm not surprised. Listen, Captain, I may need your help. I don't see how that's possible. It's our mission to keep this country safe. Yours is to keep the peace. Well, you and I both know it's not always that cut and dry. Where were you stationed? Gettysburg, 20th Maine. War could have been lost if you boys hadn't held back the Confederates like you did. North and South, you know, you can say it was that simple, but there's just a bunch of kids killing each other. Americans. You boys at Gettysburg, too? Second Bull Run, Antietam, Fredericksburg. Here's them all. Amen. So what's this about? Got something to do with your brother, I assume. Well, I ain't got nothing solid yet, but he was fixing to bring some things to light in this town. We have our eyes on the mayor for our own reasons. However, those reasons do not include family disputes. But seeing as how we're dealing with enemies of the state, Quantrill's Raiders and all, might be able to do a little something for you. Do not come to me without hard evidence. You cannot jeopardize our mission just to help you with your revenge, you understand? Yes, sir, I do. Excuse me, Mayor. That reverend's brother is a problem. Which means what? He kept us from collecting rent from the blacksmith and from Trumbull's store today. Lord, why have you seen fit to surround me with a pack of imbeciles and morons? Well, you told us not to use our guns and draw on folks, so what, what are we supposed to do? Well, now I'm telling you, get off my porch. Get out of my sight! Go on! This McCord character, now, he can't be allowed to interfere with my business. He's like a disease. Could be contagious. Gonna have to be dealt with. So what you wanna do about it? Well, put some men on him. Not those two idiots. Pick two other idiots. See what he's up to. I'll handle it. I fed you all. Don't act like you didn't get any. Shoot now. Oh, <laughs> morning. I didn't see you standing there. You know, in the morning sun, your hair glows. Looks kind of like a halo. <laughs> well, I'm no angel, that's for sure. That ain't the word around town. <laughs> Listen, I found some things in Thomas's journal. It might prove the mayor's up to no good. What'd you find? This map points to a cache that the journal says is full of stolen weapons and money. I don't know how to read this. I don't recognize any of the terrain. When Tom and I were kids, we uh, used to play Indian Scout. We'd draw these maps to help settlers get out west. We drew them in code so that if they were ever stolen, bad guys wouldn't know how to use them. See, the symbol for north, that's a pond, these are trees. The point is, I can use that map to find the mayor's supply cache. I'll go with you. No, there's no telling what I'll find up there. If something happens to me, I need you to find Captain Lewis and give him that translated map. His base is just outside of town, only Captain Lewis. I know where this is. It's an old abandoned mine. I can take you there. No, I need you here. Only Captain Lewis now.
stolen shot at the lot. Let's check it out. Can you read? Yes, sir. Then read it to me. Mayor Pierce, our armory at Sawtooth is heavy and we have recruited over 400 men thus far ready to do what is necessary. In addition, we have recruited 200 soldiers from Virginia and Kentucky ready to come and fight for your territory. Please confirm that you have prepared ample accommodations. Sincerely, Mayor J.W. Cooter. Damn, son. You read good. And you are the bearer of glad tidings. I want you to bring Mayor Cooter a message from me. I want you to say to him, uh, you say, J.W., thank you for this inspiring. Yeah, that's all right. Don't knock. Just, just walk right in. You got something to say? Yeah. Son, step outside. Close the door. Yeah, yeah, just, just have a seat. Well, boys, saw the preacher's brother right out of town today. Word is he was heading north. Out of town as in for good? I'm sorry to say. Did they follow him? Nope. I don't know where he went. I would call that completely useless information, wouldn't you? By the time they got word to me, the marshal was long gone. I thought it'd be best for him to sit tight. Wait for his return. That's what you thought. Reb, I want you to listen to me. See, you're not educated. You're not an intelligent man. In fact, you're stupid. You are a stupid man. You are a hired thug who shoots people. You cannot offer me anything I cannot buy 100 times over. You understand? Well, yeah, I hear you. Therefore, I do not want to know what you think about anything ever. I pay you to do what I think. And right now, I think you're forgetting who's running this show. See, this ain't your town, son. This town belongs to me. I'm the mayor. And that's just the start. So don't you dare presume to bite the hand that feeds you, lest you find yourself dying of starvation. Savvy? Sorry. Won't happen again. <laughs> hey, let's say that that Marshal does come back. Huh? I want you to have a chat with him. I want you to persuade him that it's time for him to leave this town forever. Yeah, what if he won't be persuaded? Well, then he's going to have an accident. Now, let's not forget, he is a U.S. Marshal. I don't want an investigation, so when I say accident, Reb, I mean accident. That's all. Hey, Reb. Ask that bright young fellow to step back in here, will you?
I'm so glad you're safe. Well, I found it. It's all true. There's enough guns in TNT over there to start a war. Do you think the captain will help us? Let's hope so. You don't give me a goddamn headache. What do you imbeciles spit out what you're trying to spit? You go. Someone found the mine, boss. Three of ours got taken out. Enough's enough. some water. Yes, sir. i brings you out here, McCord. I followed a map my brother drew. Leased an abandoned mine is full of rifles, powder kegs, and stolen gold. He's planning something big, Captain. How many rifles? 50, maybe 60 crates. You know why the Army sent me here? This hellhole? This area is not entirely under the jurisdiction of the United States government. And there are concerns in Washington. We have information that there are rogue elements from the Confederacy that's not willing to accept Mr. Lincoln and his Emancipation Proclamation. Well, that would explain the influx of ex-Confederates in the area. Precisely. If these men, the war isn't over. We'll investigate the mine, and we'll commandeer anything we feel is connected to this uprising. But I cannot point blame at Mayor Pierce unless you have proof of his connection to this alleged arsenal. What do you want? I got some information about your brother. Don't waste my time, Jenny. No. You know me now, do you? You're Reb's whore. What information? Not out here in the open. They might see us. Over here. I don't have all night. I just need a few minutes. Jenny! Do you have information for me or not? Here it comes now. Sorry, James. I would love to shoot you in your goddamn face right now. But the boss says to give you one more chance to go back to wherever you came from and forget about this place. That's not gonna happen. But I was hoping you'd say that. Cover him, boys. You gonna leave this down, on the horse or on a maple box that makes no never mind to me. Pick him up. How's that? You getting a message yet, Marshal? What's up there, Yankee? Can't hear you. Spit it out. What you saying? You smell like horse shit. <laughs> Alright, that's no. Tough song, bitch. Let's go, boys. Come on, 
boy. Take me home. Hey there, Marshal. You're safe now. Relax. You need your rest. Yeah, I'm sure he was breathing when we left him. Well, let's hope it inspires his departure. He'll be down a spell. Give us some time to focus on business. No, no. Let's let the dust settle for a day or so. Give the townsfolk time to digest and reflect on what happens to heroes in my town. I'm going to bed. Shut the door on your way out. I don't want you to end up like Thomas. Thomas and I were always very different. As a U.S. Marshal, all I knew was death. Thieves, killers. And the war broke out. I was laying torn apart by hatred. He preached love. Old men were getting beaten and hanged. He preached forgiveness. When the world was at its cruelest, he preached compassion. That ain't me. There's no forgiveness here. Thomas was a good man. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm not going to end up like him because I'm not like him. Want to try and stand up? Take a few steps. Use me. Take your time. Go slow. Go slow. Who knows what David used to bring the giant down? April? A-Ra! <laughs> That's right. You are so smart. Blocking my light. Hey, Reb, you are familiar with this book, Democracy in America by Alexis de Tocqueville? Can't say I am. Oh, well, it's damn fascinating. I mean, this man, the Frenchman, he, uh, well, he traveled all across this country after the revolution. He wrote just the most marvelous words about America. You don't say. I don't say what? Did a Frenchman travel the country and 
wrote good stuff about America and all. No, I did say that. Never mind. I got news. There was a shootout up at the old mine and a few of my boys got cut down. Really? Yeah. My condolences. Who did it? Can't say for sure. Let me rephrase that. Do you think that the marshal did it? Can't say. You just said that. Anything missing? Don't look like anything's missing. You know, you are head of security for me, and I got to tell you, I'm not feeling all that damn secure these days. If the marshal is behind this, it puts us in a damned unfortunate situation. With my hands tied, there is only so much that I can do. Well, for once, you're right. Yep. This town cannot afford to have another martyr, particularly not a U.S. Marshal. Raise your right hand. Now, do you solemnly swear to uphold the rightful duties of sheriff of our town? Definitely not. Just say yes, I do. You shit me. Say yes or you're fired. Fine, I do. But this here is just temporary. I got a reputation. Congratulations, Sheriff. I think you might want to deputize a few of your uh, colleagues. If you do harbor dreams of becoming the next head of security for the first president of the Western Republic, you will deal with this Marshall situation pronto. Will do. Count on. I'd been a U.S. Marshal for a couple years. I was up in Massachusetts, so I joined up with the 12th Mass, marched off to fight evil. He chose to head out west. Priest's word. His version of fighting evil, I reckon. But at the time, I thought it was cowardice. I'm running away from the hard work, putting the country back together, putting an end to slavery. Got a splinter. Yeah. better? Yeah. What is it? When I was uh, reading Thomas's journals, I came across some passages about you. I thought there might be. What would you like to know? Were you close to, to you? Why do you ask, Marshal? Are you warm on me? Get behind me. Please give me a reason. What do you want? Saw to break up a little moment. There was a moment, right? But you were under arrest for the attempted rape of one Miss Jenny Post. What are you up to now, Reb? Well, the other night we stopped your man here from having his way with a respected maiden of this year community. There is no way. Melissa, are you suggesting that because Miss Jenny used to be a, a prostitute, that that makes it okay? She never said that and I didn't touch her. Well, she tells it. You roughed her up a bit. You did all sorts of things to her that even my delicate ears can't handle. Come to think on it. Your brother, the, the scum sucker that he was, he tried the same thing. Runs in the family, I guess. Now you're going to jail. Time up.
my, 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 my. This is a sad thing. Ain't this ironic? You want to save a nigger? Then you get to take his place. I'm a U.S. Marshal. You will catch hell for this. Already been there. Wasn't impressed. Ready, boy? <laughs> Not sharp enough for you? Ah! Please, sir, this is a mistake. He is innocent of these charges. Is he? I can't be certain of that, ma'am. Not all women are to be cherished. Now, what kind of a message would it send to the, the God-fearing people of this town where I'd allow crime to go unpunished, not to mention the hooligans in this town? I shudder at the thought. This is your doing? Yeah, well, you never really know someone, do you? I suppose the accusations could be false, but of course that's for a judge to decide. In the meantime, I'm obligated to protect the women of this town, and of course, that includes you, Miss Collins. <gasps> Ain't that right, Jenny? You know, I've never noticed before what a remarkably fine figure of a woman you are. You stop this right now. This territory is about to experience a new beginning, and I'm going to lead it. I'm an ambitious man, and well, it sure would be fine to have a smart, strong, beautiful woman at my side. Your words are of the devil's tongue. <laughs> well, don't you go flattering me, Miss Collins. You know what happens to rapists in this territory? We hang them. See, if he was to be cleared of these charges, well, he'd be free to just go on doing what he has been doing. And I got to tell you, that just doesn't work for me. Hey. Aren't you gonna invite me in? Of course, baby. You know, you're missing the show. Why don't you come on back out with me? Let me just uh, clean myself up for you and I'll meet you out there, baby. Please, I'll do anything. I'll make him leave. Well, I guess I could drop the charges. After all, they were leveled by a whore. <laughs> Revolting profession. That's enough!
Shut them down. You uh, want some before you go? a fine first lady. You don't fuck with me. <laughs> James out of jail. He didn't do anything. What do you expect me to do? Break him out? They're gonna kill him, Daddy. We're gonna meet by the old church. I'll be there. I'm gonna need your help. You got it. So a group of us are meeting up by the old church. Thank Now, you all know my daughter, Melissa, and I'd like you to hear her out. Good morning. There's no stage. There's no church. No minister. All that remains is Tinder and Ash. A good man did stand here once, right here where I stand now. His name was Reverend Thomas McCord. He wasn't born here. He owed us nothing. He only dreamed to see this town, to see the people in it, reach their full potential. That's why he died. But you know that. Damn us. Yes, I say damn us. Where were we? when he stood up against the tyranny of our oppressors? Where were we when he pointed his fingers at the men who steal our homes, take food from our children's mouths? Where were we? Reverend McCord gave his life for us, and none of us had the backbone to stand with him. We let him down. We let our children down. And I am ashamed of that. Mayor Pierce, 
and his former Confederate soldier colleagues intend to claim this territory as a new republic and overthrow our president. Right now, he is compiling an arsenal of weapons and he expects more men to arrive here shortly. How, how do you know this? We've seen the weapons, and Marshal McCord has been working with the army to uncover their operation. Marshal McCord's gonna get himself strung up. He has the backing of federal troops, and he is the only man willing to take on our mayor. He needs our help. We are strong enough right now to do what needs to it. But when the mayor's reinforcements arrive, we will be outnumbered. And if the army intervenes, then our town will become a battlefield. I'm not going to be a slave again. I moved out west with my boy to start a new life as free men. It ain't been easy, but it's damn sure better than it was. The marshal, he done saved my boy Abraham from a lashing. He come to my aid too, when Reb's boys was trying to burn my hand and shake me down. And his brother, God rest his soul, has been there for all of us one way or another. Count me in. Thank you, Benjamin. There's some scripture the Reverend used to quote often. Proverbs 21:15. It is joy to the just to do judgment, but destruction shall come to the workers of iniquity. Justice is present. We just have to let him loose. It's time we take a stand. Let's get those sons of bitches. Anyone willing to help me get James out of jail? Step forward. Howdy. What you got in the bag? Well, let's have a little look-see. My daughter Melissa put together some things for the marshal. You do it nice and slow, like. Yes. Looky here. Sounds like your girlfriend's done brought us some dinner. We might even toss you a bone to suck on. <laughs> oh, look at here. Apple pie. Her mother makes the best apple pie. Boiled eggs? Oh, some more boiled eggs. Put it all back in the sack there and hand it over. Oh, she didn't. What? Put this big old gun in here. You back it up, right now. Right now. Hold on, back in there. Put that gun on the table. Give me the key. Give me the damn key. I ain't got it. First of these duties is to educate democracy, to reawaken its religious beliefs, to make an awareness to... Sir, there's a ruckus at the jailhouse. Kind of a ruckus. And you're here. I came to tell you. Get back over there. Yeah. Yeah. Reb, you get on down in that jail before they break the marshal out. Won't be that easy without these. Just get on down there. Where are the keys? I ain't got it. Someone better start talking. I ain't asking again. Reb has it. I thought these might come in handy. Well, hello there, young lady. Come take a seat. There's no time for that. James is in jail. That's pretty nasty charges against him. All false. Right now, my father's trying to break him out. He needs your help. You're asking me to help you break a man out of prison? Yes, I am. Out there. Two, three, maybe four. In other words, you don't know. 
No, I do not. If we stay here, we're dead. I'll draw their fire. When I open that door, you guys run like hell. Unload everything you got. That's suicide. Have a little faith. Hold your fire! No one shoots the marshal. He's mine. Hold your fire, goddammit! Give me all the excuse I need to put a bullet in your head. A rapist. Holding two sheriff's deputies hostage. Breaking out of jail, no sir. Don't get much better than that. There's good men in here. Look, you can have me, just let them go. Sorry, can't do that. Accessory to the criminal. If I come out shooting, a lot of your men are gonna die. Maybe you, Reb. Maybe. But I've seen enough death. I've took enough lives that if it's my time, so be it. Don't have to be that way. Give me your word, as a soldier, that you let these men go, and you can have me. You win. It's Mayor Pierce. You have my word. You walk out of there peacefully. I'll honor your request. I have your word, Mayor. As a gentleman. <laughs> well, that makes me feel better. <laughs> I'm going out there. If they drop me, you come out firing. Don't look back, get to your families. I'm coming out! That's far enough, McCord. Drop your rifle. Undo your belt strap, drop it to the floor. What now? now your brother was brave, like you. Until he wasn't. He kept pushing and pushing till he pushed a little too far. You shut up. He squealed like a sow as he burned to death. Still with me? You bet I am. It's over for you, Marshal. You're outgunned by twenty men. Eighteen. Huh? 
Look out, little my boy. Hey, Abraham. Head over yet. You get your father home and stay there. Wait, I'm coming with you. No, sir. There's something I have to do alone. Keep her safe. Be careful. Captain. Marshal. Reb. No sign of This map will lead you to the cache. That's where you'll find the mayor. I'm going after Reb. You got a handle on him? I got an idea. Thank you. I was busy. Why didn't you run? Men like you and me, we don't run. Why is that? There's nowhere to run to. It's all the same. Blue, gray. They don't matter at the end of the day. Born, buy this, sell that. Die. That simple. You came here to die. We'll see. It was a nice church. I used to see folk come in and out of it. Never understood what they found. Your brother, for a guy I never carried a gun. He was tough son bitch. I admire him. Funny way of showing it. Where's the compassion? Wrong McCord. But one man, 
but I will not look the other way. And we will rid the town of this evil. Thank you, brother. What you got there? What's your name, son? family, this is Benjamin's son, Abraham. Abraham, this is the Collins family. It's Elizabeth, Stratton, and of course, Melissa. Hello, Abraham. Welcome. Thank you. Come on, let's get you something to drink. building a church thanks to you where are you heading south some folks need help down there you could come as much as I'd love to I think I found my calling too Thomas would be proud both of us you be gone long? I think so. I'm coming back. Sure. Not as good of a liar as your brother was. I ain't him. 
tail side of the same nickel, Mr. McCord. I guess. <laughs>